Psalms 23 tells us that God would prepare a table in the presence of our enemies. Men would be there when God is blessing you. The blessing is not for you to keep but to honor Him. And this would attract jealousy, hatred, and bitterness because everyone wants to be the one God has honored and selected to bring joy and liberation to His people. When God created us, He created us for a specific purpose. The main purpose we are on earth is to serve and live for God. God gave us talents and gifts that are to be useful in our Christian journey. God has anointed every one of us to do exploit in this world. Hold on to this gift and anointing God has given to us. God's anointing in our lives is to be used for His purpose and His purpose only. This is why we should be careful of how we make use of God's gifts and anointing over our lives. As believers, God has anointed us the moment we give ourselves to Him. Psalm chapter 45 verse 7 If your life is not attracting criticism and comments from people, then you are not making an impact. Because when you are making an impact, dust would be raised. The reason why we have the gift of God is for the edification of the body of Christ, to make sure the church as a body of Christ functions in different capacities with the sole aim of serving God. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verses 9 to 11 tells us of the different gifts we have been given by God. These gifts are prophecy, teaching, counseling, charity, leadership, kindness, wisdom, knowledge, faith, healing, miracles, discernment, tongues, interpretation, encouragement, administration, apostleship, evangelism, and pastorship are given unto us by God as He sees fit. The more we grow steadfast in God, the more spiritual gift He grants to us. Through the Holy Spirit, we can be given two or more gifts. This is why it is very important how we use these gifts. However, it is also known that the gift of God is without repentance. In Romans chapter 11, verse 29, it means the gift of God is irrevocable and this is why we as believers should be careful how we use the gift of God. This is because it is possible for us as believers to fall into sin and gradually lose sight of the will of God, and yet we function and use the gifts God has given unto us and not know we have steadily declined. The blessings and anointing God has given us might breed contempt from others because the world is prone to hate someone God has blessed. Envy and jealousy set in because of the special anointing God has granted us. If you look at the life of Isaac, he was blessed beyond measure when he sowed in the time of famine, only to reap a hundredfold. This caused the enemies to be jealous and they started filling the water wells his father dug. When we have been blessed by God, we should not be carried away with our euphoria. We should remain cautious and watchful. The Bible advises us to always watch and pray. What was the cause of hatred and enmity Joseph's brothers had for him? It was because God called out Joseph and blessed him and made him a ruler and savior over them. It should have made them happy, but instead it made them sad. And they sold him to slavery, but then Joseph stood and did not lose that anointing and blessing. There are points in life when we receive the special blessings and anointing of God. These are moments to be thankful. These are not moments to start mocking or making jest of others. It does not mean we should look down on others. When God has blessed certain people, they become proud and haughty. They no longer have time for God. All this will bring about hatred and jealousy among people around you. This is because you are not using the blessing the right way. Let's acknowledge that God is our source. The devil is always looking for ways to steal our blessings and this is why you should be vigilant. When you have the anointing of God over you, most people begin to get irritated. Some get jealous and envy sets in and others do not wish you well. For you to love God wholeheartedly, then you must hate the world and the world will hate you. You cannot love God and the world at the same time. Matthew chapter 6 verse 24 tells us that we cannot serve two masters. It is either we choose to serve God or the devil. 
there is no vacuum in the spirit. You are either hot or cold. So when you have the great anointing of God on you, jealousy from the world comes at you. This is because God's anointing breaks the yoke, and when you are anointed by God, you break the yoke over the powers of Satan and his agents over your life and the lives of others. This is why we should always be filled with the Holy Spirit. Matthew chapter 13 verse 25 tells of the point where while men slept, the enemies came to sow tares among the wheat. The blessing and anointing of God over your lives makes you become a target for the devil and his agents. Job was an upright man and the devil attacked him because he felt God protected him. He felt if Job did not have protection from God, then he would not serve God. When we receive anointing and blessing from God, we ought to tighten our spiritual belts and seek God the more. The devil is always going to and fro. He never rests until he destroys his target. That is why God assured us that as long as we are always doing his will and command, he will always fight our battles. Saul hated David because the praise singer sang his praise after he defeated Goliath. Saul was also an anointed of God, but he hated David. Believers in Christ should be cautious because the enemy is not only outside the church, but even in church. Satanic agents are also in the church looking for whom to destroy. It is important to remain steadfast in the love of Christ. When God has anointed you, then He has put you in a position as a leader. All the people God anointed were to lead, beginning from Moses to Jesus to Paul the Apostle. When you become a leader, especially when God calls you to lead His people, there are going to be people that are against the success of that assignment or ministry that God is asking you to lead. It occurred when Moses was leader, same with David, and even our Lord Jesus Christ. The enemy knows that when they strike the shepherd, the sheep will scatter. They will look for ways to strike you as the head of God's people. They will come through striving and disagreement with your principles. They would want to bring about division in the house of God. But as a leader, it is important to always ask for the leading of the Holy Spirit. Your followers will frustrate, persecute, and some will hate you, and even the ones you trust the most will deny and betray you, just as Judas Iscariot and Peter did to Jesus. It is important to note that when Jesus was asked to carry his cross, none of the disciples or followers offered to carry that cross except Simon of Cyrene. It means, as leaders of God's people, there might come a time where everyone will betray you. But when you stand firm on God's word, He will see you through all forms of persecution you might be going through. Finally, it is important to know that when God's anointing and blessing are in your life, remain humble and committed. You should not use the power God has given you to oppress and intimidate others. You should use this anointing and blessings to help bring others into the kingdom of Christ. Luke chapter 4 verse 18 tells us how God has anointed Jesus to heal the sick, deliver the oppressed, and preach the gospel. As believers in Christ, we all have the anointing and blessings of God when we obey His word, pray ceaselessly, and commit ourselves to God's will. God will always fight your battle and give you more anointing and blessings that those who are envious of it will have no choice but to rejoice with you. So hold on to God and He will always see you through. Like Joseph, stand. Like David, stand. The anointing and blessing from God over you would attract enemies, but it doesn't mean that you should fall.